Biggie's Chai House episode 6, take 1. La. What's up guys, it's Big Biggie, not the little one, and we are on episode 6. I am Muna Wuya Karaoke. Our YouTube has been growing so much, and we love you guys so much for making sure that we stay on top of things. I know it's been a long, long, long couple weeks, but we are here to make sure you guys get everything you guys are asking for. We are outside today, and we're gonna be reviewing episode 13. It's named Eviction Day. So let's talk about how that went and how this whole situation came about, because that's one thing that we're gonna do is what, Teddy? Clock it. Right. Here we go. Please comment below and let us know what drinks you guys want us to make or maybe if I should start eating snacks. Well, right now, we're having some Bel Air and we're going to watch the episode. Pull the lever. Crunch. So the episode is starting real spicy. Smiley and Morales' sister are going at it right now. It's almost like they opened up this space and just let them go at it. Oh, they're going at it. They definitely look alike. Like, no, they do look alike. They do. It's Anna Mac, Camilla, and Sky, and they're all like, you know, having a small meeting, I guess, since they're the only girls in House B. Don't get me tight. But whatever. They're acting delusional to the fact as if though they don't know why we're all not in the same house. You guys know why we're not all not in the same house. Everything's being stirred in a pot by Natalie and everybody else, and they're allowing it to make sure that it stays like that. Now we're going into the next scene. E.T.'s coming into Roly's room, and, you know, they're having a whole new conversation about what happened at Acapulco in the last episode prior. So now in the last episode prior, you guys can tell this is what happened. You can hear clearly what's going on from the minute she got off the sprinter to the beginning of... The club door. So all she said was, I don't know you, what's going on, little conversations like that. You can tell the girl really wasn't even really stressing it too much until after this conversation happened with Roly. Because now it's, oh, he called you a broke ass. Now it's he shoved your head and hit you over the thing and said, so what if I hit you? Like, bro. The mics would have caught it. We have security there. And so I highly doubt this man was able to harass you from the sprinter all the way to the front of the club line. Mics, they have mics. Right. And we do have our own mics on as well. So if the mic would have caught that, the mic, you would have been able to hear that. Now, one time that I hear this man say anything about her being a broke ass bitch. Now, one time that I hear this man say anything about her, oh, I hit you so what? Like this doesn't even make any sense. Every single time this girl tells the story, it switches. Liar. She just keeps sprinkling things in there. I feel like she's just trying to make it sound more aggressive so that she can like cover up whatever she's trying to do. So Roly's talking about if you have a problem with somebody or you're just mad because you got checked. First of all, I didn't get checked at all. The girl was too busy yelling and screaming because me and you was having a disagreement. She inserted her two cents into it, which had nothing to do with her whatsoever. How are you guys so close? You guys never even known each other before the audition. So it's like, I want to know where y'all so close where E.T. feels like she needs to jump for you. And me and you can handle our beef by ourselves. Why do you need a third person to come in? Biggie's the issue. She got checked. So that's why she came and brought people. But didn't Mariah Lynn just bring people in? Right. I mean, Mariah Lynn brought somebody in, but I guess that's okay for her to do. I'm so confused. None of us live in the same house. I don't know where all this anger and animosity is coming from. We don't live in the same house. We're never around each other. So why is it that you guys wake up, crack in the morning, and don't even look like you even brushed your fucking teeth yet? Oh my God, it stinks. I can see the eye boogers in your eyes, Roly. Dirty as hell. I can see the thirst in your fucking voice. So you're thirsty. You guys just woke up to film this piece and talk about me. I hate that for you. I am the camera time. I'm the reason the camera even points to you half the time. Well, Biggie needs to go because Biggie needs camera time. No, Biggie needs to stay because E.T. needs camera time. You guys don't have a storyline. This shit is so weird to me, bro. Don't get me tight. I don't even got time because both of you Bumblebim sisters is really pissing me off. Y'all ashy, your breath stinks, your hairline is receding. You're, you're not that cute. The Bimble Bin sisters. Bro, you got all that money. Have you gone to get a facial yet? What? Now, this girl wants to be me so badly. <laughs> this wig hat is so corny, bro. 
And it's funny because I got <laughs> my cute wig on with a hat. It's not a wig hat. So it's funny that I got this on. Oh, she wants to be me so badly. Do you guys see this picture? Bruh. Like, why does she jock everything that I do? Oh my god. Like, this shit is like so obsessive. Like, no cap. I want to take my hat off. Like, nah, she got me tight. I want to take my hat off. She got me tight. Play that. <laughs> so, Sky knew about the evictions and didn't tell you or anyone else in the house? Um. I mean, I'm just seeing this right now, Teddy. So I don't know if she knew about the evictions, but that's really kind of what it's giving. Almost like she knew about the evictions, but didn't really say anything. I mean, Natalie never said anything about me getting evicted, but she said that they wanted to evict Smiley. E.T., Mariah Lynn, Sapphire, Roly, and Natalie. And Natalie, Roly... And Mariah Lynn are just going at it about Mariah Lynn's sister, how she did her big one, how this this is going on. What is she doing in the corner of the oh, pool? Teddy, I don't know what she's doing on the side of the fucking pool. She's there. Just agreeing to whatever nonsense is coming out of Roly's mouth. And can I have my, my, my hat back? Thank you. Like, you already know. Like, it's stupid. Because I put on a hat because I want to, not because I need to. No cap, my people are weird as Because now Sapphire said, oh, she, um, somebody, a man bopped her in the head as we were leaving the club. So was it while we was leaving the club or was it while we was entering the club? Which one was it? No one bobbed her in no piece. They have the camera footage and the mic the mic footage, you can hear it, bro. All he did was try to get a video like this and his hand came across my He didn't even touch this girl, bro. And it's crazy because the world's already eating you up. This episode that I'm filming right now for you guys has already been out for a week. And you guys have been eating up the truth. I don't even got to say it no more. Look at all the comments. Oh, Look at everything. I'm pretty sure there is. Look at all the comments, bro. Look at all this. Like, are you serious? I don't even have to defend myself at this point because the camera's gonna... There's one thing the camera's not gonna do is lie, my nigga. They can't edit what you don't give them. Why do you keep trying to blame somebody, Roly, without having no proof whatsoever? You want to find a flaw in my character so badly. I'm not you people. And then you got E.T. coming out the side talking about, I'm being cool right now, but I'm finna be on demon time. Like, no, oh, no, no, oh, no. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm shivering in my boots. You just want somebody to fight. Fight your demons. Matter of fact, why don't you fight Roly? Because she keeps making you look like an idiot. Cluck it! Bro, what is she doing? Twerking at the end of that pool like that. Oh my god, it stinks. Poopy! As for Natalie, I want to know, why did you feel like it was okay to before even asking me? Because no one even asked me if I did anything. I'm, I'm gonna be coming into this next scene completely lost. No one asked me if I did anything. No one asked me if I had anything to do with it. Why would I bring a man to touch her over what, a little push? That's not that serious. I didn't have to bring a man for that. I've never been afraid of anybody on the show and I've always stood my ground. So what do I need a man to even do that? I've been through a domestic violence situation and I brought it up to Roly and Roly was yelling at me talking about who gives a fuck. Did you guys remember that? Because I remember that at the Baddies East audition. So why would I sit there and bring a man to put his hands on her? Me and Scotty are supposedly friends. So why after this scene, why didn't you text me and let me know what was going on? Because I would have texted you and let you know. Like, yo girl, some weird shit's about to happen when we get to the house. Be, be prepared. I can't sit around and think any of these women is going to move like I move. Because let that have been me. I would have texted them like, yo loca. Se va a poner rara la vaina cuando uno llegue. Because y'all know how we all feel about being surprised on this show. It's like, you know, it's a whole bunch of like Battle of the Sneaks. It's just so weird. Me and the girls are outside. We're smoking, singing a song. I'm getting jiggy. You really think these girls are your friends, huh? I mean, damn, Teddy. Like, I don't know. They made it seem like everyone was so cool with me. I mean, we was happy. I mean, at that moment, I guess. So whose side is Sky on? I mean, clock it, Teddy. I don't know whose side she's on because didn't Natalie just tell her that they're about to evict two girls from our house? Clock it. Why is she so happy allowing them into the home? 
And she's like, welcome home, guys. Welcome home. They don't live here. <laughs> I'm so confused. Smiley's ass. Teddy! Leave Smiley's butt alone! Why would Zeus get this angle of this woman's butt? A couple years ago, or something like that, or a little bit ago, Smiley was on the show Botch. And she has a whole different voice. This thing is so insane. Like, y'all gotta see this. So the first thing that happens when the girls walk in the house is Mariah Lynn goes for her target, and they start fighting. But it's like, this is what we are all saying when it comes to Smiley is like, you're creating underlying issues and then nobody really knows what's going on. And then boom, it just happens. And then the house just kind of looks very confused. Look at Mariah Lynn. Like she is just aggravated and I feel her. I really do because behind my Look sister, Teddy. Leave the veins in Mariah Lynn's head alone. She's aggravated. Every time she starts drama, she says she don't want to fight. Right, Teddy. You ain't never clocked something harder than Clock that. Clock it. Because she just apologized right there and said it. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have never went about it like that. I mean, and even T said it like, yeah, I'm all set with Smiley because you don't bring up people's families and try to threaten people's family. How come every time you start a problem, you don't want to fight? So why are you starting problems? So why are you making posts? If you don't want to fight, why are you doing that? Para de tratar de ser una víctima. Like, el dien, like, el show entero tú tienes víctima, 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 víctima. It's like, you just want to be a victim so badly, girl. Now Biggie sent him? Right. Now it's he said, oh, Biggie sent me. You should know who I am. What? How many times are you going to switch the story? You can genuinely see it in my face where I look so confused. I don't have this girl on Instagram. I've never had an issue with her. Yeah, she... Tapped me like this. Security got in the way and we didn't get to go into whatever little tussle we did. But it was never that deep for me to call another man. Like I said, I've been in situations like that. Why would I put another female in that situation? My fans know the type of female that I am. So don't come on here trying to paint a story of somebody that you don't even know. And this is why you're in the situation you're in now. And then as for Sapphire, why are you playing dumb in the confessional? Oh, I thought it was all over. Now it looks like Scarface is going to check Biggie. No one's checking me for anything because I didn't do anything. Then Rolly's sitting there saying, what are you going to say that we're lying? Yes, I'm telling you, you're lying. Just say you wanted to fight. You wanted a camera time. Just say that you could have came up to me like, yo, Biggie, I'm trying to go up. Let's get into a fight. If it was that serious, this is weird. It's not my fault that my fans love me. If they go and they react however way that they react, what does that have to do with me? Are, are you lost or something, bitch? This show is watched internationally all around the world. Anybody can be mad at anybody. Someone could come up to me and be like, Oh, bitch, fuck you. I don't like how you talk to Roly. Boom, and hit me. And what, I'm going to think that Roly sent that? No. Anything can happen. I am from the East Coast. We do not move like that. Trust me, if I did it, you would know that I did it. Dime, porque yo te voy a mentir a ti. So be am I afraid of, bitch, we're on my coast. I think E.T. deserves a Grammy. <laughs> no cap. The way she just made this up, she got tears in her eyes. She's yelling. She's screaming. A man just hit me. Like, no, girl, you're fighting battles. Your man probably used to hit you. And then you say, this tough girl act you're trying to put up. I never put a tough girl act up. I'm always happy. I'm always laughing. I'm always enjoying myself. I'm always having fun. I never came up on the TV like, I'm the biggest boxer in the world. I'm stronger than everybody. I'm the best fighter. No. My, my audition clip expresses how much of a businesswoman I am, how much I pray, and how much of an execution I can do when it comes to making a plan work. I'm a communicative bad bitch. I am a baddie that is a boss. I'm a boss, bro. Do you understand that? Everybody kept saying to me, Biggie, why do you keep explaining yourself? When I feel like I'm confused, I need to get to the bottom of things because it doesn't make any sense. Pero la perras, the animalandias of the world, just want to fight and go at it and think that that's going to get them anywhere far and it's not going to get you nowhere far. It's really not. This is not the TV network you came from. It's definitely giving setup. It's definitely giving setup. I'm the only one being set up around this place. And now, Rody just stands there like a dirty ass, big ass drumstick and goes, Oh, the guy said, It's Big Biggie, bitch. Big Biggie sent me. Rody, you heard him say that? I want to catch the mic that's going to hear them say that. Because trust me, we have a lot of money here at the Zeus Network. 
If so, that would have really happened, they would have caught it on camera. They would have caught it on the mic. Everybody has mics on. You can hear every conversation. FBI, that open up! Trust me, it would have been released. They can't wait to catch a viral moment off of anybody around here. Zoo, 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 so zoo, just zoo, know. Zoo, zoo. The proof will be in the pudding. Explain myself. Y'all trying to make it seem like I'm weak because I want to explain myself and because I speak. But I dodged each and every hit. Like I said, you're a fighter and you did no damage. Yo, Roly is a weirdo. She's like, all right, all right, all right, you're done. Scarface, are you slow? Are you blind? Do you not automatically see how much you're being a lap dog and how much you're riding somebody else's f***ing... Look at this dude. Shorty was like, oh, after my girl was done doing her big one, like, that was your big one? You working yourself up and aggravating yourself as there's, as a female was explaining to you that she had nothing to do with something? A female that you don't even know. How do you have this much aggression towards me, yet Tzatziki was mocking you, laughing at you, and you didn't have this energy towards her? You were smiling at her and you couldn't wait for her to hug you? Clock but yet towards me... Without even knowing me whatsoever, nothing at all. You want to have all this anger and aggression. And I got set up, bitch. And I'm mad at you. A man put his hands on no, me. No, God, like, please, girl, no. Why would I set you up before I set up Roly? Do you honestly think I care about you that much? Now, here goes E.T. trying to pull Camilla into it. And Camilla's off rip in the beginning told her, no, I don't remember it. Then with all the pressure and everything, there goes Camilla folding. Oh, yeah, then I remember seeing that. That was corny. Nobody even said it. Then when Roly asked everybody around, like, do you guys think Biggie should go home? Nobody spoke up for me. But yeah, I'm supposed to be so happy. This shit is weird. And it doesn't make any sense. And then you guys are making assumptions and decis big decisions on something that you don't even know over a female that just walked into the house. I'm getting tired. I don't care what Sapphire is saying. If I feel like I'm not being heard and I'm, and I'm misunderstood, I'm going to speak it. You guys don't got to tell me what it is to be a baddie. Just because I'm not an animal and I'm going to fight immediately because of something that I heard or something that I don't have any proof of, I'm not going to act like that. And, and no one's going to push me to act like that. If I want to give a long-winded conversation or a long-winded explanation, I can. Zeus can stop me because they can edit it up and make it look like I didn't say much. Guess who can't stop me? Me. On my YouTube, on my platform, with what I gotta say, guess what? I'm gonna have a long winded explanation the whole entire time. And guess what you guys are gonna do? Tune in. And if you don't like it, tune out. Who wrote the definition of a baddie? You bitches. I do have a security that has been with me since the beginning. Mind you, I got permission for my security to come in and bring me my dog because I wanted my dog. Everybody said there was a light skinned man, a light skinned man, when this was the man that did it. My security that's always with me, that was with me that, that day, he's short, he's full-blown Puerto Rican, light-skinned, like literally light-skinned, Puerto Rican with curly Puerto Rican hair, and it's really short. Almost looks like a fade. So what are you talking about? Roly was the first one to say, it was her security, it was him, it was him. But you can see in the clip, Roly didn't even see anything. She wasn't even nowhere near him. I'm so confused, and you guys are all weird. And the fact that my side of the house knows me and didn't even care to say anything is outrageous to me. And mind you, yes, I am cool with the females now. We have sat down, and me and girls, the girls from Team B have had multiple conversations, and we are all very cool right now. But for me to really see this come out of the trauma and step myself out, I can see what it is. None of you is really f***ing me. Y'all all left me for dead. And then y'all knew I didn't do anything because y'all was with me the whole time. Don't worry, I'm your friend. Mm. Thank you. Wow, Natalie's really weird, bro. Right, Teddy. I want to know what Natalie's here for. Mind you, Natalie even knows my security officer. Why not pull us aside or even call? Yo, Biggie, que lo que? To Natalie is not a life-changing decision, but to me as a baddie that I worked hard to be on this show, I didn't shake my ass to be on this show, I didn't suck no to be on this show, I worked my way all the way to the top to be on this show, and I feel like I'm one of Natalie's most valuable baddies. And I know that for a fact that I'm one of the most valuable baddies on the Zeus Network. Clock it. So for you to just sit there and allow E.T. to... Kick me out is ridiculous to me without even you having a conversation with me. And I was one of your first baddies. Like, Natalie, what are we really doing here? What are you doing here? Because you're supposed to be like Mama Nat. You're supposed to be the head that's supposed to be holding us all together. And Sky, if you're the head of our house, why are you not 
saying anything. How are these females able to come into our house and make evictions in your house, Sky? How come you and Natalie didn't sit down and say, yo, let's smiley? She can go home because there's proof on all the stuff that she's done. There is no factuals or no proof or no conversation that was held saying Biggie did this and this is what's going on and now she's getting kicked out. I think it's so dirty and disrespectful and completely unprofessional. And this is why, Natalie, me and you could never get along. And then you're allowing her to touch my stuff. What? Why are you guys allowing this girl that's not even from here to be touching my stuff? And I didn't notice how painful it was to see until I sat back and I'm watching it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you guys were inboxing me all this stuff throughout the week, I didn't know what to say because I didn't see it yet. I just lived it. So seeing it on camera, it's very like re-traumatizing and not, and seeing that no one had my back when I know I was innocent and I didn't do anything wrong. I felt like my house should have had my back and my house i felt like natalie should have had my back she chose me to be here she brought me back i'm sorry i didn't mean to get emotional with y'all watching the episode as we speak like i watch them to give you guys the fresh reactions i watch it with you guys when i when i'm here yes sapphire and suki was aggressive but regardless of how you guys seen it they had my back i'm happy that sapphire was just like yo go get your shit shit and she was snapping me out of emotion Cause I was stuck on like emotional. I was, I couldn't believe what was coming out of Natalie's mouth. I don't care about what Roly and all of them is saying. During the time that Tzatziki got jumped, everybody in house B sat in that bus and allowed that to happen to Tzatziki, knowing damn well she had just had surgery and none of them defended her. Why would I expect them to defend me? Okay. I just say thank you to all my sponsors for um, making this happen. From Bella's on hair, to backpack boys on my head and on my sweater. I can't wait for you guys to go see the pictures that I'm gonna have because the sweater has a cool, cool, dope design in the back. And Nails by Cat for always making sure my nails look super cute. And let's give a big shout out to Darylin because she's gonna make sure that you guys get everything the right way. <laughs> Just big shout out to Darylin, guys. She's been making sure that you guys can see the real me for some time now, so. I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate Darlene, so let's keep it going, guys. I love you guys so much. You guys, my fans, thank you so much. Like, I can feel your energy through every DM, through every email. Like, some of you guys come to me through my email, like, my DM, my Facebook, my Snapchat. Like, you guys find me, and it's just a so much genuine. Like, Biggie, I love you so much. Thank you for being who you are. You you inspire me to keep going. You inspire me to be okay. Like, like y'all see me fight. Like, I'm fighting through this. I want you guys to understand, once again, that it's okay to be... A communicative baddie. It's okay to be a baddie that doesn't want to fight first. It's okay to be the baddie that wants to explain herself. It's okay to be the baddie that just wants to boss up and have fun. Like it's okay to be that baddie. Like you don't have to fight. Don't don't feel like you're being too nice. You're gonna have to step it up sometimes. Or if not, people are gonna walk all over us because we're too nice. So wow, we've came a long way. We're on episode six now. We're going to be going on episode seven. Make sure you guys do stay subscribed. We've been on the road, we've been working, and I got so much more new content for you guys. Something that's gonna be able to like wiggle me out of this. I think we should, I think you guys deserve to see every piece of me. Make sure you guys stay subscribed. I love you guys so much. And cut.